Welcome to Unit 5, everybody. I can't tell you how proud I am that you've made it this far. I know that there's a lot of videos and a lot to learn, and some of you are watching these videos every single day as they come out, and that means the world to me, and I hope you're learning a lot. I'm sure there's times that you feel like you're learning and times that you feel like you're lost. Um, I can tell you that when I was learning PHP, and I'm still learning PHP, there were so many different times that I just wanted to quit. So many times that I thought it was above my head and I was never going to get it. But the fact that you stuck it through to Unit 5 shows me that there's something different about you. And so I really encourage you to press on. Some of the stuff's going to make sense moving forward and some of it isn't. But just encourage you to keep pushing on and keep moving forward. So we have this thing that we're that I'm looking at right now and this is an old software package that I wrote and it's a management system for a large 500 acre camp and basically it processes all their work orders and receipts and all that kind of stuff but the main thing I want to look at is the home page is kind of this um, idea of panels and so what I like about these is depending on the different permission levels that the people have they see different things so in other words like if you don't have the right to rent a vehicle then this block won't even be here and we could do similar things with the menus and we've done a little bit of that already but we're gonna we're gonna make a dashboard that'll be kind of a one-stop shop for all of your teachers and cashiers and all of that kind of stuff so what I did that thing that we made there was or that I showed you there was designed for Bootstrap 3 and that's not what we're using. We're using a newer version called Bootstrap 4. So we're gonna use this. I don't love it, to be honest, I'm not a graphic designer, but this is a very basic card that will allow us to um, you know, put little icons in here. And the fact is, this is your project. Like when it's done, you know CSS, you know HTML, and what you don't know, you can figure out. So you can make changes and you can make these cards pretty. We're going to concentrate on just making them work. So what I have for you is on test.php, I have this sample card. And uh, I'm going to try to paste this into the um, into YouTube, into the description when I upload the video. But if I forget, please just let me know in the comments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to index.php. And I think index.php is kind of a good place for that dashboard. It's kind of a home page and all that kind of stuff but we've got some other stuff going on here so first thing we have going on is this whole jumbotron thing and let's see if i can come over here and log out uh if i if i log out you'll see there's this big thing right here telling me i can uh register or log in or all that kind of stuff so we don't want to lose that functionality but we want this to be a dashboard if you're logged in so if you look at the code right now, what you'll see here is this thing that if the user's logged in, then show them this account home button. And so if we come back here, if I were to log in and then go back to the home screen, there's this welcome to SmartScan uh, and it gives you this account home button and then there's some other stuff around here. So. What we're going to do, we're going to do a little bit of housekeeping. We don't care anymore about sending people to the getting started guide. So we can delete these three lines. And then what you'll see here is the only thing in the else statement are these two buttons, the login and join. So in other words, if somebody is not logged in, it's going to try to take them, it's going to invite them to come and log in or join. So what we're going to do is we're going to put everything else in there so I'm gonna take this last paragraph thing and I'm gonna put that in there and then I'm gonna come up top and I am going to take all of this jumbotron stuff which I think yeah see these are connected so I'm gonna take this too I'm gonna to put that there and then I'm gonna take all this jumbotron stuff and I'm gonna put this inside of this and so we'll be a little neat here we'll uh, We'll do the auto indent thing, lines, auto indent. So, okay, it's a little neater. Um, I could get rid of that line, probably gonna regret that. There we go. So now if I were to come to the home page, what you would see is that there's nothing here. Well, there's that button, the account home button. And that's because the account home button is still up in here. So eventually what we're gonna do is we're going to do an include and I will show in fact let's do that now let's do that now okay the idea of doing an include 
is basically you can take a file from outside of user spice or outside of this page and you can stick the code in there and why would you want to do that well this is messy you know we're going to have a full dashboard going on there's going to be hundreds of lines of text and all that stuff on here and this just is kind of out of place so what we're going to do let's go we have this views folder so if you look we have users and then views so let's right click this and let's do new file and then what's typically done you don't have to do this but we're gonna do an underscore and then we're gonna say not logged in dot PHP okay so I have this new page called not logged in dot PHP so what I can do is I can control X all of this and let's see paste it and now what I can do over here is see I'm opening and closing my PHP tag so let's drop this down here so we can actually make it a little neater okay so what we want to say let's leave ourselves a comment here if not logged in then we're gonna say include and then we're gonna say users views not logged in dot PHP okay so what we've basically done is we've taken this little statement and in fact we could actually yeah we'll, we'll leave it like that so it's not the prettiest bit of code but it'll it'll do the job so what we're saying down here is if not logged in include this so what we can do is we can come here and I can close this one we can come here and I can log out and you can see that the page works exactly as it did before even though that code is no longer on this page because what it does is PHP sees this and it comes up here and grabs this so you can see that rather than having all that stuff sitting there like that's just a lot neater so we're gonna come up here in fact we're gonna bring all this stuff and we're gonna kick this way down the page just to kinda have it out of the way and then we don't really care about a link to the account page because this dashboard is kinda gonna be our account page so we're gonna save this and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and log back in admin password and then we're going to go back to the home page and we're going to see that we have a nice clean template here that we can do whatever we want. So we're going to go to the test.php page and we're going to grab everything. I'm going to say, um, I'm going to do this here. End sample card. And then I'm going to bring this one back here to the beginning. Okay. So now I'm going to comment that out. So now we have a very easy little thing here to see where the sample card begins and end so we're gonna come here and what we want to do is right here let's see we want to do one more div div class equals row and we're gonna drop this one all the way down here and we're gonna put a comment end of dashboard row okay so what we've basically done, I'm going to bring this all to the left and we'll, I'll tell you, let's neaten this up. This is driving me crazy. So we're going to do the shift tab thing, just get it all back there. And then we're going to do lines, auto indent. And so, okay, great. So now what we have is we have the ability to paste as many of these cards as we want. And they're going to be responsive. And so we can come here and I'm going to, I'm going to come back. Well, it'd be nice if I actually, uh, had it copied to my clipboard. So I'm gonna copy that and then I'm going to paste one, two, three, four, five, six of them and save the page. And then when I refresh this, I get six of these cards. Now we may deal some with spacing and all that, but for the most part, what's kind of nice is that as we take this thing, and I haven't tested this, but as we take this thing and change the size of it, um, they're gonna shrink down and then eventually, they should drop down to other pages. I may have to tinker with that a little bit. But um, they are being responsive. They are resizing. And yeah, so 
let's think about that. So what we want to do is, again, this is not a CSS class, but let's take a look at this again. So I'm going to remove these. Okay, and I'm going to take just one of them here. Now, what this is telling me is that no matter how small the screen gets, this gets to be one third of the page. Remember how I said there's 12 columns? Well, so when I say that something is column four, that means that this is going to take up a third of the page regardless. So let's say that we wanted to make it take up a third of the page when the screen is big and we want it to take up maybe half the page if the screen's a little smaller and take up the whole width of the page if the screen is really small. So what we would do is we would do column 12, which this is kind of like if the screen is the smallest, and then we would do call small six, and that would mean that if, if the it's a rather small screen, there would be two of these little blocks on there because each one would take up six, and then we'll do call medium four. So if the screen is medium or bigger, it's going to take up a third of the page. If it is small, it's going to take up half the page. And if it's really small, it's going to take up the full width. So let's save that. And then we're going to come over here and refresh the page. And I have to make a bunch of them again. So I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this. One, two, three. Let's just do three. Okay, so I have three of them there. And now I'm going to refresh the page. So I have three of them. And then as I drag the smaller, they're going to eventually drop down to where this is column six. This one's taking up six columns and this one's taking up six columns. And then this one's forced to drop down. Now, if I get even smaller, the other one will drop down. And now we have each one taking up the full width of 12 columns. So I think that's a good place to stop. It's a little... Um, a little bit of a lesson in responsive design, not one of the things that I'm extremely strong at, but that's the gist of how it works, that you can take these different things and you can make them uh, you can make them whatever size you want. And in fact, I'll copy these and just do it with, with a bunch more of them. You can take them, make them whatever size you want, and then as the screen shrinks, they're going to come down here and take up different amounts of space. And so... That's appreciated by all cell phone users. So if your cell phone users are using your RFID system, that'll be pretty helpful. So I will see you in the next video and we will start personalizing this.